Bom dia, gente. Espero que você tenha um ótimo dia. Good morning, everybody. This is your man, Larry, American Brazilian. Long time no see. Yes, I've been very inconsistent because I had a whole lot going on. Uh, and I will probably take up 10 minutes of this video to tell you everything that I had going on. Um, I, I wanted to just make a quick video about um, a, a certain certain talking point that I've been hearing at nausea, which I'm sure many of you who watch this video have been hearing the same thing, particularly concerning people who travel or in the travel community. Now, now these talking points, or this particular talking point, is directed specifically at people who travel and into the travel community here on YouTube, but it's questionable, and, and, and this is what I'm saying. So lately I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the dangers of visiting countries like Colombia or Brazil and other places in Latin America because people are dying. Now, I will say this, and, and I'm not being nonchalant when I say this, um, the loss of life, of even one life, is, 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 is too many. However, if you indulge yourself in a certain type of lifestyle, I think you you increase the risk of being deleted probably by half. What do I mean by that? And I'm not judging anybody who involves himself in pay for play. I think if you're an adult, you know, agree with another consenting adult and you guys decide y'all want to make a, a transaction based on pleasure, hey, knock yourself out, just be safe. Uh, I don't promote it. I don't agree with it because of all of the, the variables, all of which are dangerous that, that surround or go into or making it happen. But I don't think that a country should be judged solely based on, you know, people who indulge themselves in a very uh, uh, seedy element of a society in, in these particular places who unfortunately met their demise because they did so. Um, I would say this, that's like, that's like saying, don't come to America because if you come to America, you're going to get shot by some random crazy person in a movie theater or visiting a school or visiting a mall or walking down the street. Now that does happen, but that's not everybody's story. And to be honest with you, that's a little bit more, uh, that will cause a little bit more apprehension for somebody visiting this country because most of the people who have met their demise in those, those scenarios that I just mentioned, those are just everyday scenarios that people just involve themselves in on a day-to-day -day basis. Those are normal scenarios. There's nothing seedy about visiting a mall or visiting a school or eating at a restaurant or walking down the street. However, <clears throat> when you tell somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, don't go to Brazil or don't go to Colombia because, you know, people are, are, are getting scoped and people are, 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 are getting deleted uh, at random, then I have issue with that because a lot of these people who make these talking points, number one, Many of many of them don't even own a passport. <clears throat> number two, those who do have never visited that country. And number three, uh, those who have been, you know, promoting these talking points, they don't tell the whole story. What is the whole story? That unfortunately, many of those people, maybe not all, but many of those people indulge themselves in activities that put their lives that directly put their lives at risk. And see, that's something that I think people who are critical thinkers can listen to and say, you know what? If you tell me that if I put myself or involve myself in a certain lifestyle, I put myself at risk, I, I can, I can, okay, I, I, I can rock with that. Why? Because you've given, you've given me, you've basically, you've given me a warning. And that warning was this. If you don't, I mean, things can happen anywhere you go. However, you more, you purposely put your life at risk if you involve yourself in this particular lifestyle. And I, I, I think enough is enough. And I hope that if anyone sees this video, they will understand that 
there's nothing wrong with visiting these countries, okay? Just don't be involving yourself in activities or in elements of a certain society, which many people might not be familiar with, that's known for committing certain type of crimes. Because you have to understand, if you, and I'm careful how I'm about to say what I'm about to say, if you drop food in the midst of a bunch of hungry people and you're the only one eating, you're gonna look up and a whole bunch of people are gonna be over your shoulder saying grace. Why? Because they're gonna eat too. And again, I'm not saying that you know these people in the country are wrong. I'm not, I'm not saying that, so don't, don't misunderstand it. My point is this. When you put, when you dangle certain carrots in front of certain people uh, in certain elements of a certain society that's not good, they're going to take not only a piece of what you have, but they're going to probably take all of it and get rid of you in the process. So what am I trying to say? There's nothing wrong with visiting Colombia. There's nothing wrong with visiting Brazil. Uh, Brazil's requirements have increased, but I'll talk about that later. Uh, on probably another video. Um, but if you visit these countries, understand if you're gonna be involving yourself in that whole pay for play or nightlife lifestyle, you need to be extra, extra vigilant because there are people who, as you're looking to meet people, they're looking to meet you and probably not in the way, some of them, in the way that you think. They're looking to meet you because they're thinking that you're a lip, that you are a potential mark, that you are a victim. And so if you want to reduce that, probably by more than half, then I would say you need to very you need to be very, very careful about what activities you involve yourselves in. And uh, if you do that, I think that you'll have a, a excellent trip. You'll enjoy it and you might not want to come back, not because of. of uh, you might not want to come back not because of embarrassment, it being embarrassed uh, uh, about being scoped or anything like that. You might not want to come back because you've experienced the true essence of the Latin lifestyle and culture. And that is peace, friendliness, beautiful people, and a very, very beautiful and enjoyable time. So, you know, for those who might hear this, chew the meat, spit out the bones, uh, but again, be careful about listen people. Listen to people who have these talking points uh, that are, are specifically in my in, in just based, in my perception based on based upon fear and ignorance. So that being said, espero que vos tenga un mal I hope you guys have a good day again. And this is your man Larry, American Brazilian. Again, apologizing for being like super super uber inconsistent, but you know I'll explain to you guys at a later date what I have going on. Uh, so yeah. Até a breve, é verdade.